Hello everyone. By the end of this lecture, you will learn how to calculate protein concentration of unknown sample from the standard curve in Excel for different biochemical applications such as Western blot. So here you have the concentration of standard uh, such as BSA. So it starts from 2000 microgram per ml, 1500 microgram per ml and it goes on to zero microgram per ml. For each of these standards, we are going to make two technical replicates. So this value here shows the absorbance for technical replicate one for this standard. This value here shows the absorbance value for technical replicate two for this standard. Similarly, we are going to measure another standard sample with concentration 1500 microgram per ml. This is the value for uh, replicate number one and this here is the value of absorbance for replicate number two. Similarly, we will also measure absorbance for other standard samples. Okay, so after we have we are done with measuring the absorbance value for all these standards, what we are going to do, we are going to take the average because we have two different technical replicates. So to calculate the average, what, I, what we are going to do, we are just going to add these two values, this one and this one, and we will divide by two. So now here we have the average absorbance value for our standard number number one or standard with concentration 2000 microgram per ml. To calculate the uh, absor average absorbance value for other standards, I'm just gonna drag it down. So now we have calculated every absorbance value for all these standards. After this, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this average absorbance value and this concentration here. Okay, here I have the copied um, concentration of the standards and here the average absor absorbance value of the corresponding standard concentration. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the scatter plot using these values okay i'm just going to make this scatter plot using these values for this i'm just going to select this and go to insert and then to here and then to the scatter dot plot okay scatter dot plot so now i have here scatter dot plot okay so in this scatter dot plot what i have to do I'm, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go to this plus sign, okay? I'm just going to go to this plus sign and then I'm going to go to trend line and then I will select linear, okay? So now I have added the trend line in this graph. So then the next step is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on here on this plus sign and then go to trend line, okay? And then I'm going to go to more options and in the more options, I'm going to go to display equation on chart. I'm going to click here and I'm also going to click on display R squared value on chart. So now I have displayed both R squared value and equation on this chart. Okay, so this is the equation. So using this equation, we will determine the concentration of unknown sample. Okay, so X represent the concentration of unknown protein sample where y is the absorbance value of that particular protein sample. So after making this standard curve, what we are going to do? We are going to measure the absor absorbance value for our unknown samples. So let's say that we have three unknown samples, sample number one, two and three. And for each of these samples, we have two different te technical replicates. We measure the absorbance for both of the replicates and then we take the average, okay? So what we are going to do, we are just going to take the average of these absorbance values. So this plus this, that is divided by 2. So now I have here the average absorbance value for sample number 1. And I'm just going to drag it down and down to calculate the average observance value for sample number two and sample number three. Okay, so now here I have average observance value for our unknown samples. 
So two determine the concentration of the so this equation can be re written. So we because we want to determine the value of x, so we will rewrite this. So x will be equal to y minus 0 0.0109 divided by 0 0.003. Okay, so as you can see here, now I have rewritten the equation x equals to y minus 0 0.0109 divided by 0 0.003. So to determine the concentration, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the bracket. So y is the average absorbance value for unknown sample number one, right? To calculate the concentration for sample number one. So our y, y value in this equation, what we will put is the average absorbance value of sample number one. And that is, once we select that, we're going to press minus and then 0 0.0109 and we're going to close this small bracket and then we will divide by 0 0.1230 zeros and 3 and then I'm going to hit enter. So this is the concentration of our sample number one. This is, this is the protein concentration of sample number one. To calculate the concentration for other samples, I'm just going to drag it down. Okay, so simply in this equation, x is the concentration of unknown protein sample, y is the absorbance value for that particular protein sample, and we just put these values and we can calculate the protein concentration as I show here. Okay, so 